hello good morning welcome back to my channel my name is Cynthia in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to sew this beautiful peplum blouse you're seeing here I already have a video on how to cut it so I'll be putting the description below so go and learn how to call this beautiful um, peplum blouse I use um, the upper bodies is um, shoulder that bust here I have a video on that so this is the part two of the video this is a sewing aspect from the beginning to the end so please if today is your first time of coming to my channel please give this video a thumbs up and okay subscribe hit the red button below so you always get notified whenever i upload my video okay so having said that um also i want to say very very big thank you to all my subscribers so let's go into the class right now i have the front panels i've gone ahead to put my wording on it but before i put the wording i have to use my hair stay i'm using the black hair stay a light black hair stay so i'm going to start sewing right now now right now i'm trying to join the bust here together just take your time so i'm taking it slowly and um, slowly okay just take your time around that area and always try to lift up the foot of your machine while you are stitching that area so you can get the the boss part so it protrudes well so just take your time take it gently okay so once i am through with um joining this part i'm going to pick up the second part and then I'm going to join the second part. Now I'm trying to join the second part. Just take your time. Please make sure you, well if you're starting, if you're joining the second end, if you're joining um your shoulder dot bust bust here, always start from the 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 down, okay? Start from the down area, then from the down you sew through the words up and please from time to time try to lift up the foot of your machine for a beginner so that you you won't find it difficult while joining the that curved area and um while joining your shoulder that you will notice that the center and the side they are not usually what's equal and so that was the reason why i didn't put the neckline at the beginning while i was um cutting that is if you watch the first video so immediately you finish doing that just try to bring it out and um try to use your iron to iron out that area i didn't show the part where i did that and also try to trim off ssds if there are any and then i give your work a notch notch that area please do not cut through the lines the thread lines do not cut through it just give it a, a fine notching and then once you are through with the notching you just go and what and iron okay iron you can decide to wear it or, or put it on a mannequin to see if there are any points and all that and try to what to correct it so you can see it's looking it's looking very very um beautiful okay uh, it's looking very beautiful so immediately we are through with this um i will start with the back so this is the back i'm going to join the back okay the two back panels we're going to start towards joining them so this is it this is the back while i am joining it this is the back so just take your time and what and join the back I'm true with joining the back panel so you can see the two of them facing each other so I'm true with joining the back so immediately we are true with joining the back we are going to start um, um, I'm going to put my neckline on the front remember I said while I was cutting the cloth that I don't put my neck until I finish joining so you're going to determine how wide you want the neck to be I'll be using um four inches wide and 
four inches deep. Sorry, I did not measure it. I just eyeball it and then I cut. So as long as you know what you're doing, okay? So once I'm done with trimming the the, the neck area, I am also going towards um trim the armhole area, okay? Yes, they're going to trim the armhole area. So I am going to trim it and then I am going to also um put the shoulder slope at um this point. Yes, look at the shoulder slope. Remember, I didn't do that while I was cutting, so I've done that. So I like doing it now because I it's it really comes out beautiful now. Now I know at least you know what you are doing. So that's how I used to do. That's how I saw my shoulder. That now I'm going to take in the armhole. I'm going to come in by one inch on that armhole area, and then I'm going towards cut. Yes, I'm going to cut out that excess. I think you need to do that. You need to do that so that when your customer, or your clients wears the clothes, it fits. In very well on that armhole area. That armhole area will not be um, too boggy or boogie. Okay, you understand what I mean? So just do that. So once I'm done with this trimmings, I'm going to start joining both the front and the back. But before I do that, I'm also going to trim uh, trim um the back neckline. So okay, this is the back neckline, and also I'm going to also um trim the the down. Now this area, this um. The bottom area of the of the back, you should trim it off with 0.75 inch. Yes, you want to do that because if you don't do that, the peplum will look somehow down on the back area and you don't want that. So you want both the back and the front to be what to be equal. So always trim out 0.75 so that both the front and the back will be what's equal. And also, please don't forget to, what, to cut off your shoulder slope on the back panel so you're going to place them together and what's and sew the two what shoulders i know somebody will be wondering where is the lining don't worry the lining is coming just join all the fronts together and then you do the same thing for what's for the linings okay so we are joining all the fronts and then once we are through with joining the the, the shoulders the back and the front together we what's we also what we do what the lining So as you can see, I'm true with what's joining the two shoulder. So I just try and make sure that the two shoulders are equal. Just trim any excess, okay? So once we are true with trimming this excess, we are going to start joining what? The sleeve, yes. We're going to start joining the sleeve. Now this is how I do all my joinings, okay? Because I want to turn all the work inside with the lining. So what I'm going to do right now is to what? Is to what start what joining what the sleeve now get your sleeve notch the center area okay once you notch the center area place it on the shoulder on the center of the shoulder front side facing what's front side okay always make sure you notch the center area of the sleeve and then we are going to start what's joining just take your time okay and join perfectly So once I'm through joining the two sleeves, I'm going to bring the lining. You're going to join the lining the same way you did to the words, to the fabric itself. So you can see I'm through joining my lining. I did that off camera, okay? So join your lining the same way you joined what the fabric. The lining, both the sleeve, okay? Make sure you cut out the lining for the sleeve. Join the same way. And now we are going to start what? Turning up all our work, starting from the words, the neck area. Now... To have a perfect work, I think you should pin the neck area, okay? So this is me. I'm trying to pin the neck area. So take your time. Pin what? The neck area. Pin it very, very well. And make sure the two shoulders are meeting together, okay? On the lining. The two shoulders should meet together. The neck lines should be accurate, okay? So um, 
make sure you do that okay and please pin pin your work especially on the neck area pin it so that you don't mess up your work at this time okay all right so when once you are um through pinning the work you just start what um joining okay join it um um okay so just start just if i just start joining you understand what i mean okay just start joining and make sure it is right side facing words right side okay um take your time okay just keep joining um enjoy yourself So once I'm through with joining the neckline, I try to give it a notch, okay? Try and notch your work. Um, please do not cut through the thread lines, okay? Just be careful with that, please. And so once you're through with your notch, you start with joining um, the sides, okay? Join the back side, the front side, every other side, okay? Make sure all your works are turned inside out. So you're going to what? start what? joining immediately you are through with your words your notching so please do not forget to notch your work okay so right now we're going to start words joining all other side and so okay please if today is your first time of coming to my channel again please do not forget to subscribe the red button below okay just hit the red button so you always get notified whenever we watch we upload our video so just try just start what up uh, closing up your works okay close everything so that it will come out perfectly and i need okay so once we are through with doing all this joining just go ahead and turn it up and give it a word a nice word a nice press um just take your time enjoy yourself okay while you are doing your joining i, I tell you um sewing is what sewing is fun <laughs> enjoy yourself So I'm through with all the joinings and right now I'm turning up my work, okay? So once you're through with um turning up the work, just your work, just go and go ahead and give it a nice press, okay, with your iron. Okay, so you see how beautiful your work is going to look because you turned everything inside. Okay, now I forgot to mention something. On the sleeve area, if you are joining that area, make sure that the lining of the sleeve is shorter so that while you join when you join it the sleeve area as in the lining will be what's inside and not what's coming out i hope you understand what i'm saying i think we did that when while we did our gown the the last zipper gown tutorial i made i i showed you how to do that so okay so just go i'll put the description below just go and watch it so that you know how to what do that area okay so this is a peplum okay um, I've gone ahead, I've ironed my interfacing on the peplum. I used a, a, a light stay on it. And then this is the lining, okay? So I'm going to start joining what? The lining. I have, remember, we have two peplums, okay? The two peplums. So we we'll start what? We start joining. So just take your time and what? And join your lining to your what? Um, to your peplum, okay? And then after we, we are through with joining the lining, we just turn the whole thing up. So just take your time and join the lining. All right. So I'm joining the peplum right away. So once you're through with joining the peplum, you start what? Turning it up. Okay. So I'm turning it up. Just go ahead and give it a nice ironing after you're through with what? Turning it up. Okay. Once you're through with that, at that center area, try to run your machine round it, okay? So that you secure that area. Okay, right now, I'm going to start what? Closing up my 
upper bodies. Now for the upper bodies, I'm trying to make sure my work are very very neat. So at the bottom of the um of the blouse of the upper bodies, just try and hold it together. I mean holding the lining and the fabric together. Okay, just hold it together so that it doesn't shift while you are trying to what, um, close up your work. So as you can see, I'm trying to hold the bottoms together because those that places are they, they are still open. Okay, okay, those were the places I turned my work from. So try to hold that area together. So while you are when you are true in holding that area together, try and make try and trim trim off every excess um, so that your work will look what's very um neat so now i'm going to pin the zipper area the zipper area okay i'm going to pin that area because i'm trying to measure my work i'm trying to um do the finishing as in measuring the work okay to get the accuracy so before i do that i'm going to use my pins to close up the zipper area as you can see i've closed it up and um, i'm trying to what to measure so let's measure what's together so this is how you do it take your pin and pin all the sides so pin all the sides okay pin very well so that while you are trying to close up your work, it will not be um, shifting or maybe um, dancing. You know what I mean? So try to pin the work. So I'm pinning all my works together. Why? So that I can what? I can what? Measure. So now put them together and trim off that excess. Okay, that excess I told you about. So now both the back and the front are what are equal so let's start taking our measurements so i'll take the bust measurements and then i'll take the underboss words measurements if you don't know how to measure i'm going to put um a link below there i made a, a little video on how to what, take accurate measurements so just go ahead and watch how to what, take your what your measurements So once you're done taking your measurement, just um, st stitch through the lines, okay? Just st stitch through the lines and what, and close up your your work. So I'm through with stitching and um, you can see I'm trying to bring it out again, okay? So right now it is time to join our peplum. But just check and see if your your work is equal and if they're not equal, try to um, do the, the last trimming, okay? Try to see they're equal. If they are not, do a little trimming on that down area. So why, once you are through with that, um, just get your peplon okay and what and start joining so we're going to start what joining our peplons okay so these are the peplons now this is how i join my peplon the one of the peplons i'll have to cut it into two and then the other one i'll just slit once so i'll place these two together this way and i'll place this one together this way right side facing each other Remember, one of the peplon is splitted into is slitted into one. You can see, okay. The other one I slit into two. So I'm through with joining it. So right now I'm going to start what joining it to my what to my upper body. So we're going to join what together. So now get the center of your upper bodies and center of the peplon, notch that two area and join so that it will give you a fine. Uh, to look very accurate while you are through with joining so get the center of the peplon the center of what's 
the upper bodies and what and join them so this is it i am joining what the people please while you are doing this uh, try to um be very very careful because sometimes if you don't open up your peplum like the way i'm doing right now you will find out that it has a fold okay so just try and always open it, them up once you get to the place you're sewing try to like use your hands to open it up like i'm doing so that you won't um there won't be any fold on your what's on your peplum so just um keep doing that um keep sewing so once we are true with um sewing um a peplon we are going to start what joining our what's a zipper so you can see the peplon is fine i added a little pleat on that place i added um a little kissing pleat on that area but if you want to put leave your own plane that way why not so i added a little kissing pleat on the front okay so this is a peplon so i have joined my zipper off camera sorry about that but um i also have a video on how to join how to put or insert your zipper so i'll put the description below so you go and watch it okay so um once you're through with joining your your zipper your clothes is what is ready so this is it so right now i'm going to put it on on a model so that you see how pretty our peplon is what is looking okay this is our peplon blouse wow it's looking beautiful isn't she wow this is so nice i'm beginning to love this wow if you've come to the end of the tutorial please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you in my next class bye